my opinion, life is one part competition and one part cooperation. Competi competition between you, your tribe, and other people and other tribes for their food, clothing, shelter, resources, status, money, women, and cooperation for all the above, uh, including being kind to strangers, being loving, uh, helping people in need. Okay, some people don't want to accept that competition is a necessary part in the game of life, but it is. And then there's some people who are um, cynical and evil-minded and think it's every man for himself, competitions for the weak, and it's okay to um, you know, take advantage, manipulate, um, commit crimes, all these things. Okay, so you know, in high school you learn it's either Hobbes or Locke. It's not Hobbes or Locke, it's both. Humans have the capacity for competition and cooperation and we're evolved for both of those things. Okay, we evolved in these uh, small tribes and being able to compete with other tribes, other animals was essential for us to survive and thrive. Um, but it was also essential for us to be able to cooperate with each other. The survival of your tribe depended on whether you could share food and um, share resources and, and things like that. Okay, so as a result, our imprint for self for, for self esteem arose from those two polarities in life um, that we lived with for so long. You know, as we lived in these um, tribal hierarchies, we've only been living in these agricultural societies and, and cities for the last ten thousand years. Before that, it was hunter no hunter gatherer nomad tribes. So. Um, the two pillars of that self-esteem come from one being a successful competitor um, and two for being a cooperative person also known as a good person so those are the two pillars of our self-esteem success and goodness okay uh, success at competition goodness being someone who is good at cooperating uh, does nice things does kind things is a good person okay success when you're being honest is a competition and it's an ugly one when i teach you how to be successful in all these areas of self-improvement, it's always a comparison to those who aren't. Okay, I wish it was different, but it's not. Okay, to get that, that new client, somebody else wanted that client's money or some other business wanted that client's money. That attractive girlfriend, I, you know that a ton of other guys want to be with her. Um, and a lot of them were there before you were trying to get with her. You took her away from a lot of guys who would have wanted her. Okay, success is win-lose scenarios for your competitors, period. Okay, your competitors can survive and thrive, you can survive and thrive, but that's only because they're able to take money from other areas. Ultimately, you know, if you're selling real estate in Toronto or something, you're competing with the other guy for that deal. So it's gonna be a win-lose scenario. You can have a business that's big enough where it's not noticeable, or, you know, a business like mine where I'm, I'm, you know, blasting all this information out on the internet and you might buy my products and my competitors' products. Um, and it's so indirect that it doesn't seem like it, but at the end of the day, it is, it is you know, that money that you're spending is going somewhere. Um, even to the point where like, you know, I might be competing with you for coaching money or for one of my books with, with Domino's, okay? You might spend, you know, um, or big screen TV, right? It's going somewhere, um, okay? So, so success is always sort of a win-lose scenario. Okay, that first pillar of self-esteem success is defined by a competition. It's defined in contrast to people who aren't successful. Okay, being successful is defined by people who aren't successful. Being a winner is defined by people who are losing. Okay, and that's the nature of the game. You can't, you can't have a, a game where everybody's winning. It's, 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 it's not the nature of reality. So winning is defined by losing. Success is defined by people who are unsuccessful. That's, that's the ruthless nature of this um, competitive part of life, okay? Um, and it's a harsh truth, but it's a truth nonetheless. And success is something that can't be faked, you know? The, the amount of income you have, the business, um, you know, your status is, is these are all uh, external metrics in the world and all the NLP patterns or things like that can change that reality, okay? I'm not, I'm not saying like if you're not successful, you shouldn't be able to feel good about yourself. Um, but, you know, there's a lot of, you know, people with, with, you know, who are sort of insecure about their place. Um, 
because they're not doing particularly well. And this is a real thing. It, it's a real competition out there. It matters when it comes to money. It matters when it comes to women. It matters when it comes to people's respect of you. It matters when, you know, you're able to travel and get, get health care and all that stuff. All that comes from being able to compete. Okay, now on the second pillar, next to, we've got success over here, and over here we have goodness. Okay, goodness in direct opposition to uh, competition comes from how well you can cooperate with other people or how ethical you are. Goodness is often in opposition to success. There are, it is a daily balance of, do I do the competitive thing or do I do the good thing? Um, and it, but it doesn't have to be. There are plenty of successful people who play the game fairly and ethically. Um, even though it's, it's win-lose and success, you can still play to win on the field and shake hands after, like some guy beats you for a real, real estate deal or whatever. Hey, good game. Um, but, but goodness, like success, is also defined by its opposite. It's bad by, defined by bad people. It's defined by unethical people. It's defined by people who can't cooperate properly. So you also find a lot of people who are focused on, on cooperation and goodness, and they sort of look down on people who are focused on success which is also not fair because, um, you know, it's possible to compete um, for success ethically. In fact, you should. You can still be a good person and, and compete. Um, so that's something that's really important to understand. 